Okay, I'm going to look at a new apartment, just one floor up, where a couple of my colleagues live, unbeknownst to the people I live with now. But um, I wanted to move in with them first, but at the time I couldn't afford it. So I'm just checking it out and hopefully it's nice and I can afford it now. Yeah, my student, uh, Helen. Helen, yeah. She, is she still here? Uh, she's going this week. Yeah, she invited me for dinner one time. So I just saw this room, this room in the kitchen. Uh, which uh, room? This one. Her room's there? Yes. Oh, yeah. So she's leaving this week. She's leaving the same place. But is she going back to China? Yes. Oh, yeah. So her room will be empty, and this room will be empty, and this room will be empty. Oh, okay. Am I there? Stay here for a long time. It's Tamara. Oh, okay. Tamara, she's alone. And this is the master room. Now it's available. Okay. Wow, there's a lot of cupboards. Yeah. <laughs> okay. What has this a TV? I, yes, TV. Actually, the TV, a bigger one is here also, but we put it small because bigger to be everyone. Uh huh. This is Balatona. Oh, yeah. So you have Balatona, but sorry, I didn't mean it yet. No, it's okay. You can see like that. Oh, there's a nice view. Yeah. And this is KLCC. You, you can see from here, I think. Really? Sorry, but this is yeah. mm. for season. Okay. For season. Oh, they're going to fix this one? Yes, we will change all of this one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I have the very best friend in the world. Shout out to Roxana for uh, getting a friend to deliver me a bunch of food she had some stuff in her house she didn't want and i asked her to get me a few things and oh my god i got cornflakes i'm so excited what else did i get i haven't looked yet Ooh, got some milo okay we've got milk <gasps> banana bread m m's mars bars oh my god many many mars bars Oh, we got some Seven Up. Oh my goodness, I'm spoiled. We've got some. Oh my God, it's great. What else do we have here? Wow. Okay, of course I pay, I'm going to pay her for all this stuff. I'm not just taking it, but um, it's just nice that she did this for me. Um, there's some bread. It is a bit squashed, but I can fix that up. Um, wow, I got some bread. Oh my god, ginger cookie! <laughs> the ginger cookie is like my favorite thing in the whole world. Okay. Oh my god, I might have a heart attack. Oh my god, cake. I haven't had cake for so long, I could cry right now. Everything has been organized. So I did decided to move upstairs and um, one colleague lives there. One colleague, she comes from the marketing department in our school, and one student from China. Now, the student from China has been here since before the coronavirus. I know what you're probably thinking. Um, so she's totally fine. And um, at the moment, that's it. There are no uh, other students there. So uh, the colleague's quite nice. She's not usually in the house that often, I've been told. So um, that's great. I mean, I'm not saying that's great because I don't like her. I mean, that's great just because, you know, the quieter the better, you know what I mean? And, well, I'm going to do a fun fact. And the fun fact today is about just one thing that happened to me in my life, and that is I met Beyonce. Uh, actually, I met um, the other members of Destiny's Child, except for one of them. She had just left the group but didn't announce it yet, so she didn't show up. Um, but, yeah, so Kelly... And I don't know the other girl's name, but I met all three of them. And they did sign my CD, but where is that CD now? I threw it away. 
with all my other CDs a long time ago when I kind of was going through some ridiculous nonsense and I decided to throw all my music away, including every single print CD I had ever collected. Some of them were 200 bucks because they were imported from America and they just were kind of like bootlegs and you couldn't get them anywhere. And yeah, I have regrets. Don't even go there. But um, I do have a picture of her, but it's not here. It's in Australia. Um, so she, in 2000, uh, was it the year 2000 or 1999? I just didn't remember that I was 18, and so was she, because we're the same age. So uh, I remember waiting in line with my boyfriend at the time for hours, because I knew she was going to be at the mall, right? She was going to be at the mall, and I, I didn't know that we weren't allowed to meet them. We were only allowed to get our CD signed by them. And if you didn't have a CD, then you couldn't approach them on the stage. And I was like, what? I didn't know that. So I waited for hours and then I found that information out. But luckily they were selling CDs there, like their singles. So, cause I already had the album. So I just bought a single for $5 and you know, it's a good way to make money, I guess, making the rule that you need a CD. Um, so I bought a $5 CD. Uh, I remember one lady and her kid cutting in front of us, and I, I felt so angry about that. I was like, dude, we sat here for hours. Uh, I think we sat there for about three hours, but we were very, very near the front of the line. So we kind of got on stage quick. So they came and sang some a cappella stuff, and then uh, we got our CD signed. So we, we did meet them in the sense that we said hello and um, had a bit of a very quick chat, but we weren't like allowed to just have a casual conversation for like, you know, a long extended period of time. And we weren't allowed to have pictures with them. So I took pictures of them on stage, but we were not allowed to actually take pictures with them, which is so annoying. How are you going to prove that you met someone famous if you can't take a picture? But there was one boy that did have a picture with Beyonce. I think he'd won a competition and um, he was allowed, like they had a professional picture taken and but yeah, you know, I didn't even, did I have a camera at that time? You know, mobile phones back then didn't have cameras in them anyway. So, um, yeah, I had a camera because I took a picture of them on stage. But it was just a, a camera that took pictures. It didn't take videos. So cameras were a little bit ancient back then. But I remember um, just feeling so privileged that she came to our humble, you know, shopping center in Melbourne, Australia. And, you know she wasn't that famous at that time like the song say my name had just sort of come out and destiny's child was popular but it wasn't she wasn't an international worldwide phenomenon yet so uh yeah she definitely wouldn't be showing up at the mall like that now but yeah it was a fun fact to just uh let share with you that i met her she's the only famous person i've ever met uh so it's cool and by the way she was very friendly um the, the very small amount of dialogue that we did exchange she was so sweet. Uh, Kelly, not so much. I don't know if she was just having a bad day, but when I spoke to her, she like didn't even look at me. And she kind of just went, uh, and I was like, well, fine. But uh, who cares, man? Beyonce is the only thing that matters. Today at 7 o'clock, well, tonight at 7 o'clock, uh, a group of friends, you know, are going to meet up on Google Meets, which is like a, a platform where you can meet people. I mean, you can have conference calls. Uh, we use that to have our classes. So we're going to get together at seven, me and three other people. And it's like our little clique. We usually sit together every day at lunch and go out after work and stuff. But we're going to get together and just chat and, you know, update each other on the goss. Not that there's that much because we're kind of locked in the house. But, you know, anyway, uh, I can tell them about my move and stuff like that. So it's going to be exciting. The last time we did this... Um, we started the call at five and it ended at nine. <laughs> but I mean, to be honest, if you invite friends over, you know, it's the same thing. I mean, you sit together for hours and hours and you talk. So I'm really excited. Actually, what I'm going to do is uh, when I move to my new place, uh, a housewarming gift I'm going to request from my friends. They can chip in because they did say they wanted to get me a housewarming gift when I moved here. But they can just get it for me when I move to the other place and that is a carom table because I totally want them to come over on weekends and have carom tournaments oh my god carom is amazing we're not that good at it right but it doesn't matter it's just the fun of it and 
uh, oh my god, we didn't have to just wait for... Well, usually we play carom at work, right? When we uh, have our final exams, when the students do final exams, we always get together and we, we play carom. But now we can do it anytime we'd like. So it's nice just to have it. I mean, just having it once a month, it's, it makes it special and we really look forward to it. So uh, it's nice to just have it as a special treat. But it's, it would also be good to have it at home. Um, you know, like when anyone comes over, we could play... Uh, with my friends or you know if I have a few people over we can we can play so it's something great if you haven't played Karen before I highly recommend it and I also highly recommend playing Chonka Chonka is I mean it has different names in different countries I'm not sure exactly which country it originated from but it is so fun uh, if you can find videos on how to play that and get your hands on a board if you're in Australia, it uh, might be a bit more difficult because it's not a thing there, you know. But here in Malaysia, obviously, it's very popular. But, yeah, that's all I wanted to say. All right, it's time for a book time. And this might not be something you could find easily, but it's just so fantastic I wanted to share it it's called digital detox so basically it's trying to get us to stop using our phones so often so it has coloring pages on each page but the bad thing is if you use markers it will go through to the other side so um, what it does is at the top of each page it gives you a challenge climb up a hill and enjoy the view and then if you have uh, completed this you put the date there and your thoughts okay um, and then next one write a poem try a new food have a massage make a photo album um, go for a hike with friends so I mean there's a lot of things I have completed some things I've colored one page so I I colored this page and as you could see there um, it says stand in the rain okay so I completed this on the 27th of May nearly one year ago and you know I wrote about why I stood in the rain something about a kitten being outside or something like that so yeah it's um yeah it's just a gorgeous diary you know it it gives you new things to do so if you're kind of feeling bored with life it uh, gives you new challenges, and I always love that, really good ideas. So if you can find this online somewhere, then I highly recommend you getting that. Well, I'm starting off my Sunday with this breakfast. I know it probably doesn't look that appetizing, but I can tell you it's delicious. Um, so you simply fry some onions until they're soft in oil, olive oil, and then you add a tin of tuna and a tin of baked beans and then you add some curry powder not hot curry powder like English style curry powder a little bit of salt a little bit of pepper and you mix it all up every single time I've given this to anyone they've kind of looked at it like what the hell is this but the minute they tried it they loved it now I usually eat it with bread okay I don't just eat it with a spoon um, not good quality bread guys the only time I can ever recommend eating anything with this kind of white square bread is this meal here. Usually when you eat bread with a meal, you get really good quality, crusty kind of bread. But no, this one requires this. Or you could you also use Lebanese bread. That also works. But oh, it's very quick, but it's very yummy. It's that loudspeaker again. I've been hearing it every day for the last several days. I don't know what it is or where it's coming from, but I mean, I hope it's nothing important because I can't even make out what it's saying. It kind of sounds Chinese. I'm really confused, man. Okay, so I've just been playing um, Fortnite with my sons. We have won three out of four battles, and it's so much fun. Oh, my God, especially being able to hear their voice over the headphones. And oh, this is what life is about, guys. 
Well, it's Sunday night and I've combined Saturday and Sunday's video in one. Just because on the weekends I'm, I'm so chill that there's not really much for me to film. I've got a bunch of food here I need to put away. And I spent most of the day playing Fortnite online with uh, my kids in Australia. And yeah, just watching some YouTube videos. So there wasn't that much to film and I didn't feel like doing any of the challenges today. So tomorrow I'm going to be back to normal with my classes and then I'll see you guys then.